What is up everybody, my name is Spider-Man, and today I'll show you how to make classic Iron Man and Lego Marvel Superheroes 2. So let's get right into it. First you want to go to Appearance, Hair, and you want to click No Hair or Remove Hair or whatever. Next you want to go to Head, you want to choose Tony Stark, and then you don't want a neck, but for helmets you want Iron Man. Uh, for uh, hands you want uh, this red right here. You, and for body you want, let's see... Now this is a DLC character, uh, so you will need the out of time uh, character pack to uh, make this custom, but you will need Iron Man 2020 right there. Alright, for arms, both arms, you will of course want to choose Iron Man 2020 again, and then uh, for hips, you want to choose white and then you want to make them that red, and then for the legs, both legs, you want to choose Iron Man 2020 yet again. Uh, so this is pretty much just Iron Man 2020, but with the classic Iron Man helmet. Uh, I think that this looks very good, so, you know. Oh well. Next, you want to go to Abilities, Passive. You want to choose Techno Access, uh, Fix It, and that's it. And then for Square, for Tap Square, you of course want to go to Fighting. For Hold Circle, or for Hold Square, my bad. You want to choose Beam, turn it on, Beam Damage Type, you want to choose Heat. For the Style, you want to choose Style 3. For the Color, you want to choose this blue right here. For the origin, you want to choose uh, your left hand, and uh, yeah, and then for circle, tap circle, you want bolts, uh, you of course want to turn them on, bolt origin, you want both hands, uh, for bolt style, you want four, for the color, you want this blue right here, for bolt damage type, you want heat, and then for bolt targeting, you want to turn it on, because we're not going to have anything in the hold circle. Alright, next you want to go to X, double tap X, you want to choose flight, and then for uh, hold, you of course want hyper jump. Alright, next we're going to go to passive traits, turn it on, health, health icon we want red, health type we want standard. For the voice, we want to just choose voice 3. For the target reticule, we're going to go with uh, that one right there, and for the movement speed, we're just going to choose default. And then finally, for miscellaneous, we're of course going to name Iron Man, and then the background image, we want just the Alchemax one, because that looks kind of futuristic and Stark techy. So uh, let's drop Classic Iron Man into the world of LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 and see what he can do. Alright, here's Classic Iron Man and LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, let's just get a good 360 shot of him. Alright, looking pretty cool. Um, of course he, oh, but he can fight, uh, but actually, of course he can shoot bolts like this. Um, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, he can fly. He can, uh, he can target his bolts like that. Alright, and then he can, uh, shoot a beam like that. And then, of course, he can hyper jump just like this. And into flight, of course. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is, of course, Iron Man that we made. The classic version of Iron Man. Well, I, it's not, actually not the... I don't think it's the first suit, but um, this is just kind of like the classic, basic uh, red and, and red and gold uh, Iron Man that we all know and love. Kind of like the, the uh, suit in Endgame. I, I'm assuming that's what the Endgame suit is um, based off of. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I was actually very excited about making this custom, uh, just because I love the classic Iron Man suit, I think it looks very cool, and it's very easy to make in a LEGO video game. Uh, it, it'll be the same as Tomorrow's character, uh, who is of course Thor, um, very easy to make, and he looks very, very cool, classic-y and stuff. So uh, yeah, um, of course we got Stan Lee with us because uh, yesterday, a year ago, is actually when he passed away. So, uh, you know, I thought it would just be a nice little, uh, nod to him if we, uh, have him with us today, uh, with Iron Man while we show Iron Man off, one of his greatest creations. Um, but yeah, I am so sorry for the video, um, not being posted yesterday. I'm so sorry that I didn't post a video. Um, of course it was going to be our Black Panther character, uh, in LEGO DC Super Villains for, for part of the Infinity Saga. Um, and of course we don't know who that character is, so that video will release on Friday, uh, so that we will, you guys are lucky if you're like me, um, if you like my YouTube channel, you guys are lucky because guess what, you get another two video Friday, 
uh, we'll have um, t today, of course, we have Iron Man. Tomorrow, we'll have Classic Four. And then on Friday, we'll have our Black Panther character and our Captain America from Infinity War. So I'm very excited about that. Um, our Infinity Saga characters are coming to a close. I think they pretty much all look pretty good besides, you know, of Curse from the Dark World. That's probably the only one that I would approve or improve upon. Can't speak, but can I ever? Um, but yeah. Uh, we've only got a few more movies after Infinity War. We got Ant-Man and the Wasp, Captain Marvel, Endgame, and Far From Home. Which, you know, those are kind of like the last closing moments. So we got four left. Uh, and yeah, I'm very excited to make the rest of them. And then our full focus for pretty much the rest of the year will be uh, Marvel Adius characters. We will have some exceptions such as the... Uh, Infinity, or no, my bad, the End of the Spider-Verse one year anniversary, which I will, if you've been reading the descriptions of my videos, you will know that uh, we we used, we were going to do four characters in this video game. Uh, we're going to make four End of the Spider-Verse characters in this video game, but no, I changed it to four characters in this game and four characters in LEGO DC Super Villains. So I'm very excited about those. If you have, of course, been reading the descriptions like I just said a minute ago you will know that our first character will be Miles Morales pretty simple pretty uh you know pretty expected uh but since that's expected and this second character is probably pretty expected I will reveal who the second character is um that and that will of course be Peter B. Parker uh both of those characters will be made in this game right here uh this is giving me like the end game flashbacks of when I made the uh, end game characters uh so yeah, in fact, this is actually probably really close to the uh, Endgame Iron Man that I made. I think it is. I, I'm not completely sure, but I think it's pretty close. I think the arms and the body are a bit different, but I think everything else is the same. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. That's about it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye. I feel like I said that 82,000 times.